This video is going to talk about creating a multiple hoop layout using enthusiast or stitch artist. If you want to split stitch files, you need to have enthusiast. If you are digitizing a larger layout, you can create this in stitch artist, but you have to digitize each hoop section. It will not split. You will not split stitch files unless you have enthusiast, but it's the same function in both programs. So this design I have created from a collection from Embroidery Library, and I create my large layout without a hoop showing. I do that so I won't get confused. I do have my hoop selected so I can uh, use it as a reference every so often. So when I am, whoops, um, looking at my hoop, if I hit the H key on my keyboard, this is my, whoops, let's move this up here and move this guy down here. This is my six by 10 hoop. So this is what I plan to use to rehoop and create my design layout. As you can see, there's the red number, red bar here. My design won't fit in this hoop. So I use my hoop as a guide now to see how many times I'm gonna have to rehoop this design with my this particular hoop. If I keep my hoop in my vertical, my normal horse um, orientation, I will have to rehoop it one time for this, two times, three times, and then repeat it for the bottom because I, so six hoopings. However, if I rotate my hoop, I can see that it's going to actually fit this design in a, I can do it in four hoops. So I can do two across and then overlap two on the bottom. So the numbers I need to know are, is the measurement of my hoop, which is 260 by 160. And you have to do this in metric. That's how it works. The size of the design layout in metric is 404.4 by 298.8. We will always round up. You can create a larger hoop, but you can't create a smaller hoop. So the numbers I'm going to remember are 405 by 300. Just, I'd rather work in easy whole numbers, okay? So 405 by 300. Write those numbers down on a piece of paper because you need those. You also need your 260 by 160. Once we have those, we can go into our hoop properties here, click on multi-position hoop and click on new. This dialog box asks us for basically directions. How do I create that multiple hoop layout that you want? The first thing I do is I'm gonna name this hoop and I'm gonna call it 405 by 300 and in parentheses I'm gonna do four patch. Just because for me, I'm gonna read, that's something that makes sense to me. A four patch hoop, four hoopings. Um, if you want, you can name it whatever you want, okay? The next thing that we need to enter in here is the size of the hoop that we're going to be using, the design area, and you need to know it in metric. Our, our X value, which is a looking down here at the bottom, is 260. So that's the number going across. So I'm going to type in 260. The Y value is 160, and I'm going to hit the enter key. So that registers my individual, the individual size of each section is 260 by 160. One thing that updates automatically is the overall size. I also know, so before we go any further, I'm going to have two rows and two columns. So let's update this. So I'm going to go two and two. And if you notice here, this overall size is changing. And that's based upon this offset number. So it takes the size of your design hoop, the number of rows and the number of count columns and the offset. And it tells you what the overall size is. Our goal is to create an overall size of 405 by 300. So we need to change these offset numbers until those numbers equal that. We do that by simple subtraction if when you're doing a four patch hoop. Okay. So the number of rows Okay, that's two rows that we have going up here. How far apart are they going to be from each other? Okay, so that would be our, let's see, number of rows. And uh, well, okay, the number of rows, which is the, are the rows. We have two rows. 
one row and two rows. And how much are they offset by each other? So when you figure out that offset, that's actually going to give you the second number. This is, I mean, the math is a little bit confusing, but so I'm thinking I'm having two hoops, two rows of hoops. Okay. That's the 160 because I'm 160 high and this one's 160 high. So the row of hoops, how far apart from each other. So we're going to figure out what this Y value is right here, which would be the 300. So that th 300 and we subtract 160 from it would give us 300 minus 160 is 140. 140. Hit the enter key. And that changed that value to 300. Now we have to get this number to be 405. So that's the, our number of columns, which is two. And that's our 405 number minus 160. No, minus 260. I'm sorry, I'm doing my math. 405 minus 260. So this number here at the bottom is going to be 145. And hit the enter key. And that changes our overall size to be the size that we need it here. I know that the math is a little bit confusing. If you need to draw pictures, that you're basically creating offsets between rows and columns. This is math we did in, in grammar school. I know. Just make sure this number equals the same thing here. Color by color and right to left, that's stitching order. That's, that's for the mega hoop. I don't, we don't need to worry about that. When you have a flip hoop, that's what this option is here. If you're the giga hoop, that's something that's a Janome old hoop. You, you don't have to worry about that. Uh, basting alignment lines. I keep all these defaults the way that they are. I don't want to change any of this stuff. The only thing I might change is if I wanted, instead of stitching from the left side to the right side, go backwards. But this, I'm done with this now. This is my hoop. This is my name. I'm going to click save. And in my hoop list, I now have a 405 by 300 hoop that I can click, uh, click apply and click OK. Notice right off the bat that our hoop size down here fits. I can zoom in here so that I can see my entire hoop. I can click on my center button so that my design is centered in my hoop. And now I can go to my utility and uh, I can simply save my design and it's going to save it into the various sections that are going to stitch. Um, if you go to utility and say uh, split into hoop, this will give you an idea of how it's, if you're using the automatic splitting, this is what it's going to do. So let's zoom back out here so we can see it. It's going to want to stitch this first one on the top left. Then it's going to tell you to stitch the bottom left. Then it's going to do the top right and then the bottom right. And it puts in your basting boxes and alignment lines for you so that you can stitch it out at your machine. Hopefully that helps.